welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of, finally again, Simple Redstone. <laughs> Alright, guys, so, today we're back with Simple Clocks in the game, and this throne has built for anesthetics, uh, mostly, and a joke. I got it off the Epic server, since I've been working on the castle there, and I build it on Epic server, and I really like it. I'll probably put it on Kingcraft, because this throne is amazing, but anyways... Uh, that's where I've been all this time. Uh, is working on his server on the castle, and trust me, you guys are gonna love it next week. I think it's when he's opening. So yeah. Anyways, so uh, let's get right into it with clock number one. Right. So clock number one. I call this the Hopper clock. Um, Hopper Bopper clock, whatever. It's a little joke there. Uh, but I tested all my clocks with the piston here, so you can tell the speed. And I just put the sand on there because it's funny looking. Um, and I am dropping the frames. I don't know why. Uh, but clocks, they are said to lag the game, but it's not technically the clock. Um, it's all the lighting updates that happen. Uh, it's not really here. Hold on. Uh, never mind. I won't do it. But basically, when this turns on, it lights up the block area around it. You can't see it since we're in day. But yeah. So beware. If you don't have a beefy computer, I wouldn't use clocks too much. Uh, you might just have to manually do stuff. So, these are used like for in the ender farm uh, and stuff. This is what I used for the design. And basically, uh, the good part about this clock is you can stack it. It's really good for stacking. I mean, you couldn't stack it when we're doing this. But in the ender farm, uh, when I show, I'll probably have an episode there uh, in a couple days coming out. Maybe I'll run to there, show you guys it. But, anyways, on Keycraft. But, anyways. Um, so, in this one you can stack it up and make a big tower, uh, to insert all the stuff through hoppers and uh, have a dropper tower in your chest and all that, and it's really cool. It is pre it's the slowest of the three clocks, um, and the medium size of the three, but it's a very nice design, it's my favorite, and yeah, I'll get into how to build it later. And so, now, I will number two. number two! Alright, so clock number two is the most compact one, and the fastest, uh, and, I mean, just check that out. I'm actually going to destroy this sand. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well, that sand might just have to stay there. Let me break that. This thing is ridiculously fast. Uh, give me that block. Anyways. So you can see how fast that was. Uh, that's not really a gauge. I'm gonna. There. Clock number two. All right. So I did take off the sand before I uh, did this one because it was causing some lag since it's so fast. It's the most compact and the fastest. I mean, look at that speed. I mean, you can barely tell that it's going up. Hurt your eyes to look at it forever. Um, but this one will cause you lag. Uh, it's the laggiest at three clocks. Right now, I have a couple. Like I'm uh, converting a video in the background, so I'm only getting like 21 frames. So I do apologize for that. But this is the fastest one. Uh, I'll get in to build it later. It's probably the simplest to build. Uh, it takes uh, I think like yeah, that's 10 redstone, so it's super easy to build. And I'll get into that once the building part comes up. And yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot to discuss. Uh, it's super fast, that's an advantage, but the disadvantage of this is um, that you cannot stack it. Uh, it'll interfere with this. It does activate two things though, like say I had two droppers here, it activated both of them, uh, which is really cool, but you cannot stack it. So if you're only going up two droppers and a dropper uh, elevator, then that's really good. But Besides that, you can't really do that, anything with it, uh, and it's harder. Sh it's harder to shut off. Um, clock number one over there. It's easy to shut off. I forgot to say that, but yeah, um, this is pretty fast clock. Really simple. Uh, I'm gonna have to give credit for this one to Hercules. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Uh, it's a, he calls it the smallest redstone clock ever, uh, and it's really fast. It's ridiculous. So. This one's really cool. Um, just uh, you can't stack it. That's the only bad thing. But if you're only doing a line or something, that's really awesome because fast, repetitive, and especially for arrow systems. Save the stop. If you got some way to power it on, 
um, when someone walks in if they didn't disarm a system or something, walks in and it's like brrrr, it's like a machine gun. So yeah, uh, get on to clock, clock number, number three. three. Alright guys, so I'm going to take that out. But clock number three here is very simple to build. Uh, it's the cheapest of all three, but it is the biggest. Uh, you can't have everything perfect in life. It's like um, fast and good, but not cheap. Good good and slow and cheap or fast and not good good slow and cheap and fast and not good and not cheap or and cheap I screwed I butchered that well yeah that expression go look it up <laughs> but yeah this one's really simple uh, to build uh, if you try to build this right here right now it will not work I'm gonna have to show you that when we get to the building portion and yeah so Here's actually a prime example. See how it's flashing like that? Everything is right now. Uh, through these torches and all that. That's why the clock slugged the game. It said. So yeah, it's actually lighting. But yeah, so let's get into the building portion of this. Alright guys, now we are in the building portion. And for this uh, first hopper, yeah, for hopper number one, uh, you have to have two hoppers one random block, one comparator, and one piece of redstone. And this piston is just to show you the speed and all that of the clock. Um, but yeah, so first you want to um, place a block down there, place a hopper facing into that block, break this block. Um, now you want to face a hopper into that hopper by shift right clicking, um, so to place it. Now you want to look inside of here, uh, place a piece of dirt in there, and if you notice it'll flash like that, so that means you can put a comparator here, a uh, piece of redstone dust right there, and then, uh, as you can see that's power there, but it's kind of hard to see, so we'll have a piston, now let's face it up, come on, and I might add sand on them just later so it'll look cooler, but yeah, that's it for a hopper, er, the hopper clock, yeah, I'm sure. So, uh, that's it for clock number one. On to clock number two. Clock Ooh, number two. Alright, guys. So, in this one, all you need is one sticky piston, one block of redstone, one piece of redstone dust, one block of any type. I just did sandstone because it's easy. Uh, and this piston will be the speed tester. Alright. So, what you need to do is place one block right there, piece of dust right there, piston facing at you, stick piston I should say, and a redstone block right there. And how this works is uh, this powers this block. Well, originally uh, this redstone right here uh, powers this really fast, which powers this and the piston's on that, so it shoots it out. Uh, and then when it, the signal stops here, uh, it will not work. Like uh, When it shuts off, it sucks it back and then it repeats. So, and to test the speed of this one, oh, no, let's place it up again, and yeah, and that's really fast, guys. So this one is the fastest build, smallest, um, I'll give credit uh, later on when I show you the three clocks in the beginning of the episode, uh, but yeah, that's clock number two. It's fairly inexpensive, all you gotta do is make a stick piston, which is easy get 10 pieces of redstone dust to make the block in that and that's I think it's the most inexpensive I'd have to say I'm not sure but yeah uh, so it's time to go to clock, clock number three. number three alright guys so hold on if I can break this clock number three Alright guys, so I did break that one right over there because it was causing lag. Um, yeah, that's a weird state to pause in. <laughs> it was causing a little bit of lag since it is fast. Which I do have to mention, you have to have a decently beefy computer to do it. Uh, it's been a lot because they do cause a slight bit of lag. It's been enough lighting, uh, which I'll explain that later in the episode. Or, that'd be earlier because I'm doing this episode backwards. But anyways, so you need four pieces of redstone dust. Uh, that are comparators, not repeaters. <laughs> four repeaters and a power block or a power source. You can use a redstone block which I prefer to do since I am in creative but if I was in survival 
I'd use a torch. So what you want to do, this redstone dust there, 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 and there. And this is the largest of them. Uh, that one's the uh, smallest and mediums first clock. So yeah. Now you want to face, uh, place a repeater facing this. Is that the right way? Yeah. So this way or this way. But you have to do it in a circular motion. It doesn't matter clockwise or counterclockwise. But since I faced it here, I'm going to face this next one here. So it'd be going down. So it's like boom, boom, boom. Now one more. Boom. And shabloom. So now here comes the tricky part of this. Now you can pla take this one dust out, place a um, torch here, it'll light this all up, uh, but what you need to do is break, uh, get your redstone ready, break this torch and place it down as soon as you're done. So break and place it. And now it creates a flow. Uh, I'm not sure if this is true, but I was doing some testing uh, in all of these, by the way, when I include this, uh, I include the extruding because uh, you always need a dust to lead it out. But when I was uh, doing some testing for this one, uh, which this one has no credit, it's commonly known, common knowledge, uh, but anyways. So when I was doing some testing, finally I get onto this, uh, I noticed that if you break it fast, it, uh, or if you timed right, you seem to go a little bit faster. Uh, this time I seem to do it pretty good. Uh, I got it slow one time. I'm not sure if that's true or not, just appearance on it, um, but yeah. That's it for clock number three. So, yeah, and you can see I'll place sand on them so it'll be cool effect for the first half of the video. Oh, no. Yeah, so that's really fast. I'm gonna fix this one real fast. Oh, probably should have grabbed that. Um, sand on it. And that one's really fast. It looks like that sand is moving so slow, but it hits it twice. If you look at it very close, it hits it twice when it's going up and stuff. This is the slowest one. But yeah, so uh, let me go F1, F3, no, uh, F5. Yeah, that's the button. But anyways, so guys, if you enjoyed, which I hope you did, uh, of all these three clocks. Usually, uh, if I do a tutorial like this, I would have the map for download, but since these are so simple, I'm not going to do that. I just kicked the trash can there, it got hurt, but it's fine, guys. Um, but, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, look back and check back uh, the channel for more simple redstone coming up in the future. Uh, I'm not going to do too elaborate of things. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not that decent at redstone. I just know how to do stuff and get by. Uh, I don't know all the shortcuts like a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hug that like button and smash that subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode of Simpel Redstone.